Hi, I'm Hannah, your friendly neighborhood wine mom. Tonight we're drinking some very light white wine because I just ate my weight in Chinese food. So cheers. Now I know a lot of you guys watch this series while you're drinking a glass of wine. You like wait till Saturday evening, you pour yourself a glass and you watch this. So you guys are the best. You're my favorite wine drinking buddies. Let's talk about the worst people to drink wine with. So first, the know-it-all. There's always this one person who you're drinking wine with and they're like, oh, you know, this bottle was harvested in the nether regions of Netherlands. They harvested the grapes at the peak of winter so you can taste the huckleberries that were growing in the ground. I don't care where it's from. I don't care who made it. I don't care how old it was. I have three questions for you when we are drinking wine. One, do you have wine? Two, do you have a wine opener? Three, do I need to get a glass or can I just drink it out of the bottle? And my only exception to wine experts is Chris Webb, our friendly neighborhood sommelier. He's the best. He's amazing. He brings several bottles of wine and I can sip them while I listen to him talk. Next, wine snobs. These are different from experts. They're almost worse than experts. But there's always this person who will invite you to a party. It's usually a dinner party and you bring a bottle of wine and they're the biggest fucking snob about it. They're like, oh, I only drink uh, Bordeaux's crafted in the 1800s. Sorry, this is like a 1940. <laughs> And then if they try the wine that you brought, that's subpar, they make the biggest fucking deal out of it. Like they'll be holding the wine like, I can't believe I'm drinking this. I never drink. <laughs> it's like, stop ruining everyone's time with your assholishness. Wine all tastes the same. I think we can all agree that wine tastes the same. So to all you wine snobs out there, I'm calling you out. I know it all tastes the same, and I know you know it all tastes the same. So stop fronting. Huh, I just do what I do. Huh, you see me? I just do what I do. <laughs> Next, the people who think that since you're drinking wine, you have to talk about the most boring stuff ever. Whenever I'm drinking with a group of adults, all of a sudden they think that since we're drinking wine, the following topics are the most fascinating things on the planet. Gardening, staycations, soul cycle, Downton Abbey, meal prep. Oh, I tried the best blue apron recipe yesterday. It was a Thai chicken burger. And it came with a lemongrass already cut, and it was so nice. And then I had leftovers from the next day, so it was like built in meal prep. Oh, I don't care. When we're drinking wine, I want to talk about the important stuff. Like one, are we going to order another bottle? Two, how are we going to get home if we order another bottle? Three, is there a donut place open this late? Four, does that donut place deliver? I'm talking about important stuff. That's what we should be discussing when we're drinking wine. Next, people who want to drink wine anywhere besides here on my couch. And my friends are always like, oh, let's go to a wine bar. And I'm like, for the price of one glass at the wine bar, I could have two bottles here in the privacy of my own home, in the comfort of my own couch. What's wrong with Hannah's couch? Literally, I will offer to provide the wine if we don't have to go anywhere. Or they want to go to a wine tasting. I've tasted wine. I know what wine tastes like. Let's get a nice selection from the bottom. Let's get a nice selection of wine from the bottom shelf of the grocery store and taste that because it all tastes the fucking same <laughs> I just do what I do. and last people who do measly pours excuse me mm. they wouldn't make the wine glasses this big if you were only supposed to pour it this full that doesn't make sense Sense. I'm not drinking super nice stuff that needs to like aerate and shit. I don't care. When you order a beer, they pour the beer up to the top rim of the glass because they made that glass for the beer. So why with wine do they not do the same thing? I want my glass, my full glass of wine, just like I'd expect a full glass of beer. Hey, you wanna come up? Fix this. They say that a bottle is five glasses. I believe that it's two and a half glasses if you put your mind to it. So that's all I got for today. I'm Hannah, your friendly neighborhood wine mom. And if there was anything I missed in this video, leave it in the comments. What are the worst types of wine drinkers you know? And as always, if you want to, and as always, if there's a topic you want me to discuss in a future episode, leave it in the comments. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish this glass of wine because the ultimate worst people to drink wine with are the people who waste wine. Uh, is it weird if I pour this into my glass? I don't know where you've been, but this is perfectly good wine. Uh. Till next time. That's a one stupid.
Ugh. Ugh.